particular not great. Alright, which means we can actually investigate the rest of the manor with electricity again. Remember there was a light switch in here. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man, that is just, that is nice. I just have this whole room. It is mine. investigate the rest of the studio. that ghost so we can actually investigate the rest of it now. And we still have a healthy reserve of matches. And it looks like there's a couple more diaries back here from I just I just want to look at that painting. It looks so disturbing yet mesmerizing. Note to self, mother does not see almost anymore in the darkness. Earlier, one of mother's shadows sprung in front of me as I was walking past. Yep, yep, we've read this. New Margaret Diary. 21 of 24. So we're closing in on the diaries. It's not going to be much longer. Margaret's Diary, Excerpt 21, August 26, 1913. Oh, we're going to find out how Margaret went blind. I am dictating this message to Sarah. Something awful has happened to me today. I was painting in the garden, shielded from the sun by an umbrella. And when I had one of these blanks, I came to my senses. I was looking straight into the sun, eyes wide open, the burning, like a fire dagger, struck down deep into my orbits. How long did I stay like that? Sarah says I got sunburnt. I don't think this is the whole story, but I can't ignore the pain. This means I stayed there for quite a few minutes looking at the sun. Probably end up blind. I can only make out shapes of objects, and I have a hard time moving. 
Dr. Rosenthal will come tomorrow. I will pray. I need darkness. Oh, fuck. I actually thought it was a solar eclipse that she looked at that burnt her, but it appears that she had a moment where she lost control and just caught herself staring upwards at the sun for an obscene amount of time, and that's why she went blind. Was she possessed? Cause that's the only that's the only way I can make sense of it, because you wouldn't willingly do that. Okay. God, I can't even that so we're gonna look at Margaret's other diary over here. Margaret's Diary, Excerpt 22, October 13th, 1914. Okay. Alright. After my accident last year, my sight has fallen to a critical threshold. As if he turned his back on me and started walking away, the world is out of my reach. I can't see, but I cried a lot, refusing the obvious. The world is like a white canvas filled with blurred shapes, which disappear as soon as the sun sets, as if they were swallowed by darkness. Using special glasses and my face close to the paper, I can write a little. Using the same tools, I can paint as well. I had electric lights installed in my office in order to keep working and reading. This hard, this hard work triggers awful headaches that only morphine manages to fight off barely. I think William is trying to take advantage of my weakness to try and escape my reach. He has no compassion. He doesn't love me. He probably never loved me. Well. When you're locking him away in a little room like that and treating him like crud, he's not going to love you. Again, I really hate that you went blind, Margaret, but you, you kind of made William into what he is. Obviously, there's some other supernatural thing at play here. But okay, we found out how Margaret was able to keep painting and keep writing. She had special glasses and in bright light and very close to stuff she could write a little bit. So it's not like she was 100% blind, everything is dark, it's just her vision had deteriorated to the point of where she really couldn't do much unless it was right, right in her face and using special tools. That's interesting. I was curious how she kept painting. And then we're finally going to observe this. Oh! Painting was concealed from the show. That's such a light. Victim's note number six. Dear Mish Welsh, I did all I could to support your application, but our manager is one of those pigs who believe women steal jobs from the men and won't allow them to put the country back into shape. I am so sorry, I know how badly you need a job, but at least you won't have to deal with this ugly hound who thinks himself a leader. Men like him are precisely the reason why all of this is happening. The world came to be thanks to people of both genders, and you will be saved the same way. God bless you, and I will come visit you. Linda Cubas? Cubas? I'm, I'm just gonna go Cubas. Okay, uh, yeah, sh shitty thing at the time. I don't agree with it, but it sucks, it happened. Some of Margaret's drawings and 
March 3rd, 1921. Okay. We're getting pretty close on the batteries. Well, not the batteries, the pictures. I also find it interesting that we've only seen pictures of William as a child, not as an adult, because I think the other middle-aged man was a Henry. It could be William, but it's not really specified. But I think we've only seen William as a child. God damn it, I tried to read the journal Okay, okay. 11 of 15. This is new. From Selena to William, excerpt 7. It takes me weeks to realize what is about to happen. I'm going to be mother. It happened so fast. I want to tell my parents so bad. Jim seems so surprised when he learns the news that he makes me laugh. For me, a child can only be a blessing, but life is not a fairy tale. Jim becomes colder every day. He starts coming back home late. He looks at me with an embarrassed look. He refuses to touch me and often leaves, telling me business is bad and he has to work. About two weeks later, he tells me we can't keep the baby. Oh, come on, Jim. Don't, don't be that guy. As if broken furniture as if it is broken furniture we can throw away I tell him that maybe we can't but I can he refuses he wants me but not the child I cry I scream I say I'm leaving New York is over for me those few words are the worst mistake of my life okay so the drugging was probably Jim being like no please don't leave me I want you I don't want the child oh man you know, I kind of called this earlier where moving up with Jim to New York was going to be a bad idea. Well, that's so terrible that pretty much him turning as awful as he was in the other diary, going even as far as to drug Selena so she wouldn't leave is because he didn't want to have the child. Oh, man.
seeing the rope, I choked. Death is contagious. There's another door here. Let's do this. Oh god, this is good. We're gonna save. We're gonna save. I'm gonna be smart and we're not just gonna go in there. Because I have a feeling it's the room behind the painting. That we saw after we moved the painting and there was a window that allowed a little bit of light in. And I feel like that's gonna be the room that Selena died in. But that's what my gut's telling me. There's a film reel in here. Oh man, my curiosity is so peaked. And there's some more matches in here. This is the alchemy that William was studying. Nothing was blocking the skylight anymore. The owner was a collector and he was sticking. So this is probably a bunch of William's stuff that he was collecting. I had an interest in insects. Another picture over here. The white disc over the infinite well of light piercing the shadows. The eye, the egg, the circle. Okay, so yeah, that is William. That's probably Sarah the Handmaid. Summer of 1912. My family after father's death. And that was shortly after William's first record. Mr. Ink. Okay, we're almost to a complete photo album. There's almost, there's only two left. Yeah, I agree with you, some dead butterflies aren't the only thing in this in this house. I recognize the dead butterflies. Cyrus. Was there a 
Sirs, let me observe that again. Okay, Osiris. Now it's that. And that looks like the Washington Monument. Well, it's the Egyptian statue that belonged to the museum, but it did look like the Washington Monument back here before it had light on it. Another William Diary. William's Diary, excerpt 5, 20 of 25. May 12, 1928. She who receives the light of the sun in order to survive in the never ending light is like us. But she looks even lonelier when she is watching us from her dark seat. Luna, magnificent Mercury, redemptive voice from the void. You are the motherly hand on the child's cheek. The matrix lake where the water of the sun lies. Like a woman you can be empty around. And in your fusility is the rim of time. Though... You are decided the level of the oceans, the success of fishing, the depth of our sleep. You are entitled to blood, for you are blessed among all. You are the spouse that no blood ever defies. I am your devoted son, or whatever you want me to be. Okay. Okay, this explains so fucking much. So, originally when William said talked about Luna, I thought it was an ex-lover of some sort, and the diary supported that, and Callista thought so as well too, then as soon as I acknowledged that in the video, she went back and watched some of the other videos and read some of the other diaries in the game, and she came to the conclusion that Luna was the actual moon, and William was obsessing over her, and we know that William's been practicing alchemy, doing all these ancient rituals, and was killing these women in the sake of doing alchemy and trying to find this euphoric formula that would allow him infinite life and death, essentially. And now it seems like Luna was what he was sacrificing to. The actual, literal moon. You are the motherly hand on the child's cheek, hence explaining his obsession with the moon as a child. Like a woman you can be empty around, that's different phases of the moon. Your facility is the rim of, rhythm of time. You are entitled to blood, you are blessed among all, hence the blood sacrificing that he's doing. Now I get this is a bit of a stretch, but that's the vibe that I'm really getting. A large pang was covering an opening to the neighboring room. The monster depicted was surely terrifying, but I had seen worse during that night. No real writing here, just a screenshot. The thick cable was lying on the floor like a dead serpent into the dark, and the attic known the switches. Okay, so those were the only two new new ones, is what it looks like. I feel like the final chapter is going to be the basement, honestly, where we confront the true evil of this property. Another William Diary. William Vesper's Diary, Excerpt 2. July 18th, 1928, and this is 21 of 25, so we are very close to finishing William's Diaries. 
Okay. Not very long, so I can probably do this in one go. One of my contacts in Egypt has recently explored one of the pyramids of the Cyclops complex. Cyclops complex? There he found a figure of Isis he considers interesting. And that's the Greek god, not the terrorist group. The truth that is the statue is an invaluable treasure. Isis, Regina, Cell, Queen of the Heavens, as the poet says. The goddess who was at the beginning and filled the earth and heavens with her perfection. Wife of Osiris, she speaks to Lucis as if in a dream, according to Apulus Metamorphus. On the head of the goddess was a flat disc looking like a mirror imitating the moon and casting a white glow. The cult of Isis has survived for centuries. Some say it inspired the traditional image of the Madonna with the child. She could purify the house. The sky is moonless these days. The nights are dark. Luna, have you turned your back on me? Yep, Luna was indeed the literal moon. Your child. Did I hurt you? Am I not worthy of your blessing anymore? Without your light, I am lost in nothingness. Without you, I am only the son of the other one. Oh. Okay. It all makes sense though. He does the research about Egypt, the pyramids, alchemy, and everything, and starts killing people because he thinks it can be an actual sacrifice to the moon doing this ritual that's part of the cult of Isis. And that will purify the house and free him from his torment. So we thought what he was doing was a necessary evil to basically kill Margaret's spirit from haunting him for the rest of his life. And that does confirm that Luna was indeed the literal moon. Can I observe that mask? Alright, I think we've drained this room dry, so we're gonna watch that film and save, and then I think I'm gonna have to call it for the night as far as playing. Yeah, yeah, I'm not seeing much of anything else. never forget the atrocities depicted by the projector humans were capable of many horrors as the ghosts and the night was getting darker and darker oh man so we're gonna find out something fucked by this projector I feel it in my heart that door there was something there Selena's calls for help were scattered all over the mansion she was following a goal an obsession. This part of her life she was playing in front of me. And what about me? Spending so much time in the darkness. I was losing my light. But luckily, I had a star to guide me. And this is the murdering. I didn't know that room was smell like blood. That's because it's the basement, homie. You am gonna read the other Boston news. Pictures of the victim's agony were recorded in a room I had yet to visit. It looked like a cellar. Yep, said it was the basement. I remember that door from the ground floor. I have a feeling that someone's in the basement. That picture was taken in the very same room I was standing in. Yep, yes it was. Okay, I think we've gone through everything here. 
I want a screenshot. Yep, there we go. Because I feel like that's going to be useful later on. Okay. Let's go save, and I'm ready to call it a night there, because I have a feeling we gotta go to the basement. So I'm gonna save and call it tonight for realsies. 